literally everything else has gone wrong can filming please go right today hey beautifuls so today i am so excited because i i just i'm just really excited about this oh my god ah! I knew ever since I saw previews of it on Trend Mood's Instagram page and Lipstick Junkie Forever's page and Wet n Wild page that I had to get this collection and I had to do first impressions for you guys. So you guys know that I'm a weirdo. So uh, if you're new here, hi, welcome to the fam, the weird beauty crew. I call myself an alien. I love aliens. I love UFOs. I love anything like ghosts. I really like paranormal stuff. I love unicorns. I love hollow and I love hot pink, neon pink, neon colors too. Oh my God. This collection really just made me happy and I know that Tarte just came out with something similar and Too Faced has their Unicorn Tears lipstick so just natural that uh, I got the Wet n Wild Unicorn Glow collection and I am so so excited right now because I just look at this box like I don't know when I got the whole collection in the mail it's like oh my god it's like a, a real beauty guru and I got PR because it doesn't happen to me, like ever. Wet n Wild holds a very special place in my heart. I think it's honestly the first makeup brand I ever purchased, the first makeup I ever put on my face, the first makeup, like real actual makeup, not the kids play makeup, because I had that as a kid. Like, this was the real deal, so Wet n Wild really does hold a special place in my heart, so uh, sponsor me! JK, they're not going to. I really, really love this collection. I'll obviously look at this box. Oh, <gasps> so gorgeous, and I'm sorry if there's like some prints on there, like, my hands were disgusting apparently one time and while I was touching this, but I did open it. I did look at it. I haven't really played with anything. So everything's still in the packaging. I just wanted to see the package. If you guys want to see me first impression all this, then just keep watching and let's just get started. Also for the record, I just want to say I did want to buy just the highlighters and the brush. Um, and maybe the lipsticks. I didn't really want to get the eye pigments, but then by the time I went to Ulta, everything was sold out. So this is what I ended up buying. I honestly am happy that Ulta had it because no offense to Wet n Wild, like you guys are amazing. I love your makeup, but your site just last time when I ordered, it was very sketchy for me because I got the entire holiday collection. There was no receipt. I had no tracking. I had no idea where the hell the package was until it finally showed up at my house. So that kind of skeeved me a little bit. From, from a loyal customer, please don't do that again. So if we open it up, see, it's like a a real beauty guru thing like I'm just so proud I don't know I'm fucking weird and I know I look kind of weird because I have no eye makeup on right now no highlight no blush no lipstick because I wanted to uh dive into this I'm not gonna put everything on my face I'm gonna swatch a lot but I am gonna first impression on my face probably the one that everyone's been after which is everlasting glow so what comes in the collection first of course is what everyone's like obsessed with the unicorn glow highlighting brush it's limited edition and then you have the three highlights I did a full first impressions on the rainbow highlighter upon looking at it it looks a little bit different like it looks a little shimmerier shimmerier does that make sense it looks more shimmery than the last one I tested out so I am gonna swatch that one again for you guys bronze over rainbow and everlasting glow which this is the one I'm really excited for not too sure about the bronze one because I'm not really a bronze highlight kind of girl I mean I have some bronze highlights but I just don't really use them because I feel like I'm not tan enough for them and then three eye pigments which are mythical dreams unicorn wishes and Pegasus flutter I think that's what it is and you get two iridescent lip colors which one is unicorn soul and immortal tears let's get them out okay so we're gonna take out the brush I just oh gosh I just can't like I was actually gonna get some of the Tarte unicorn collection then I was like okay Okay, I don't want to spend all this money on this collection if I hate it like I'm gonna feel really bad about spending the money so I ended up oh it's pretty oh, it's like iridescent can you guys see that oh it's so pretty god it's just it's gorgeous oh that feels nice so so far it feels very very soft and again wet n wild is vegan cruelty free which is something I really love about them oh I'm so excited I don't think I've ever had like a brush like this for highlights so that's gonna be really really nice okay so the first highlight you guys have seen before so I will link that video down below if you want to watch it I did do that last year so uh, I guess this is kind of a redo first impressions because I did have this before I ended up giving it to my sister oh that's what I should have did I should have got the other highlighter from her see if it was like the same because this looks a little bit different than when they came out with it last year and I was like so pumped for it and then I got it and I was not impressed as you guys know like it just wasn't something that I was gonna use every single day it just it didn't give me the rainbow effect which I should have brought the brush over here to show the rainbow but you guys remember this is unicorn glow oh so pretty so just a uh, swatch of that right there oh 
It's got some nice glow to it. I swatched the top half and here's the bottom half of it. That's pretty. And there is it mixed together. So I feel like this, there's a lot more blue in it this time. I don't know. Maybe there wasn't last time. I can't remember, honestly. I gotta go back and watch my own video. But it definitely looks like there's a lot more blue and purple pigment in there. So I think mixed together, this would be a really cool, unique highlighter. God, why do you do this to me? Thank God I have fake nails on today. People watching this are gonna be like, the heck, Samantha? Yes, I know. You should have had it unwrapped and ready to go already. Well, I fucking didn't. That was a bad idea. My tooth hurts now. You always only get the half of it. I don't know why. Come on, Nina. What in a while, please stop doing this. <laughs> okay, so the next is a bronze over the rainbow. So let's open this baby. Ooh, this one's really, really gorgeous. I love that. So if we get a uh, top half swatch right here, just the first three colors. Oh, that is actually really gorgeous. Bottom half of the colors. That's pretty too. That's actually not bad for a highlight. Woo! look at that. See, again, I feel like it's just a little too dark for me. Maybe if I get more tan during the summer, I mean, I'm fake baked right now. Maybe if I get more tan, I could definitely use this highlighter. Swirl it together. That's what we got. Oh, okay. Maybe I will use this highlighter. Look at that. That's pretty. I think definitely by it by themselves, like they're a lot more bronze than if you mix them together. So uh, first impression, I think the pigmentation looks really, really nice. But then again, we have to see how it looks on the face. Like I said, the only highlighter I'm going to put on my face is the Everlasting Glow because I'm really excited for this one. Unless I'm just not feeling it, but we will see at the end. Here's what that one looks like. It is so, so gorgeous. So I'm just going to swatch the toppers three colors. That looks like. Very pinky. I don't think I picked up enough pigment, but it's definitely a really nice pinky tone. The three colors on the bottom. That's nice. I feel like, I don't know, the texture on the top is a little bit weird compared to the other ones. Like it looks a little spotty, like someone d already dipped a brush in it kind of, if you know what I mean, when you have like those indents with the brush bristles in there. So it looks a little bit like that. It's still really pretty. I like that highlight, but I really, really like this highlight. I'm more into goldy, champagne-y kind of tones when it comes to highlighters. I really do love the lighter ones, obviously, so don't get me wrong. Ones that are more goldy tone on me personally, I really, really enjoy. But I'm really excited for this. I think this would be great, like, every day it's like subtle highlight too if you didn't want to go too crazy and then finally just swirled all together very powdery too I'm noticing well not really powdery but they feel very creamy there's a little bit of powder fallout with each of the highlighters but it's not bad so that's what it looks like swirled together that is really pretty swirled together swirled together swirled together top half and the bottom halves of the highlighters so next we are going to move on to the loose pigments which i didn't really want these because i didn't really think i'm going to be using them that much but that may change so the first one we have here is in mythical dreams which is this gorgeous purple color and then we have unicorn wishes which is really pretty blue you guys really love that blue makeup picture i did on my instagram which i really kind of want to recreate it so if you guys want to see that let me know and then i have pegasus flutter which i think is going to be my favorite because i normally go for a lot of pinky tones when it comes to like pigment and all over color. I have a Maybelline color tattoo that's like this kind of pink color. It just, I don't know, like it just looks really nice in the summertime for me when I'm more into the pinky tones compared to the fall and the winter time. So uh, give me a moment while I struggle to open these fuckers. So I'm just going to swatch a little bit of the pigment on my hand and we're gonna see how pigmented it is. It has the same sort of packaging as the holiday collection with the little cap and then it has like a little flip thing so it's not all gonna explode in the cap, which I think is awesome. I'm just gonna put a little, ooh, hello, put it on my arm right there. Again, this, this is Mythical Dreams, so if I just swatch that, that's pretty. You guys can see right there. That's not quite the swatch I wanted, though. What if I just pack it in, see if I get a better swatch? I can't remember what I did last time when it came to swatches, but... So that is Mythical Dreams right there. It's a really pretty purple color. I didn't put a lot on my arm, so it does look a little bit patchy, but I am going to try one of these pigments out on my eyes, probably the pink one, just because I like the pink one the most, and we will see how it does with a brush and primer. The so next is Unicorn Wishes, which is is such a pretty blue color like oh my goodness I like how it's like a little salt shaker because I know a lot of pigments don't do this so I'm trying to get like a decent amount out this time so I don't who does this for pigments me oh yeah oh yeah oh wow <gasps> yes this is a housey blue this is a housey blue <laughs> you love housey you know so that is what the swatch looks like with a little bit of the pigment we will see how the, one of these pigments does on my eyes I mean I can't put them all in my eyes at the moment but on my arm I have to say it looks pretty pigmented though very shimmery very pretty. This is the sh most shitty first impressions ever. Well, I'm sorry. I'm not putting all the pigments on my eyes today. And then the last one we have is Pegasus Flutter, which is the one I am the most excited for. So I hope it doesn't let me down. That is pretty. 
Oh my gosh, that's a pretty pink. I don't know if you guys can really pick that up. It's like a iridescent-y kind of pink color where it's like has like a little bit of duochrome it looks like to it. A little shimmer compared to the other ones. So I really like that. Really pretty. I think this is the one honestly I do like the most. Not just because it's pink, but because it has like a little effect to it. I don't know. All of them are really pretty. I like the blue. I love I like all the colors. I'm happy I bought the full collection now. Finally, we just have two lipsticks. So I'm gonna try and okay. So this one is Unicorn Soul. So I'm just gonna so Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty don't really have a smell to it. It just smells like a normal lipstick So I'm gonna swatch them I guess on my arm right here. Ooh, That's pretty that's about three three swipes. It looks just honestly I think this is a dupe for the Too Faced unicorn lipstick I'm sorry you guys can't even really see it But it's just that really really pretty duochrome blue color It looks really pink on my arm too, which I like but it has a little bit of blue shimmer to it And then we have immortal tears which oh is this gonna make up for that hollow lip gloss you guys know I just got rid of in my declutter video because I'm still really upset that I did even though I didn't really use it Meh. the struggle the struggle is real Ooh, I'm doing like multiple swatches because I really want to see the sheen to it so um, first swatch of course they're a little bit a little patchy I should say at the first swatch so I definitely would apply it more than once but bottom I don't know if you guys are gonna see it I suck I'm the worst swatcher ever but uh underneath right there like that is that color that's immortal tears this one does not have the pink tone to it obviously because it's white so this is more of a literal holographic prismatic lipstick which is so gorgeous oh my gosh i don't know which one i'm gonna put on my lips like i want to do both i want to do both i think i might do this one only because i've never had one like this before and this kind of is a dupe to the unicorn tears so i think this one's gonna go in the back for now i don't know okay so now the second part of the first impressions i'm going to put one of these pigments on my eyes so i'm just gonna take some primer this is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, which is the only one that I'm using right now. And then I am going to take Pegasus Flutter, which is so freaking pretty. And I'm just going to dump a little bit of it into the cap because it's just easier for me. Although I will say these caps are really nice to have for these pigments. They are a little bit of a pain in the ass because you have to literally sit here like this for a while to get enough pigment out that you want. There's still not enough pigment that I want in there, so I'm just like... That's still not enough, but we'll we'll work with it for now. So I'm just gonna take my flat shadow brush, dip it right in, knock off a little bit of the excess because I don't want to go too crazy. And I'm gonna put this down. Oh, please don't spill it. And I'm just gonna apply it. Ooh. Um. Okay. I forgot to put my crease color. One moment. <laughs> okay, back to what we were doing. I'm sorry about that, you guys. I just, I get a little too excited and then I forget some things that I wanted to do. So we're just gonna press it onto our eyelid. Um, dry. It looks okay. It's just very, very sheer. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's just a very, very sheer covering on my eye. It doesn't look as bright and pretty as it does on my arm or in the container. So I'm a little disappointed with that. Mm, I don't know how I feel about it, but I I did bring over my setting spray also wet and wild and I'm just gonna spray oh I just sprayed my freaking palette damn it and I'm just gonna take more of the pigment and see if that makes a difference oh yeah a little bit of a difference it wasn't too crazy so it definitely make made a little bit of a difference it was a little little bit more pigmented but I'm gonna apply more to my other eye and with my wet brush and see how it holds up um kind of looks the same now to my eyes it's not honestly as pigmented as I thought they were gonna be granted again it is wet and wild it is a drugstore brand it's not supposed to be like super 100% highly pigmented but consider Considering their eyeshadows are bomb, I love their eyeshadow palettes. I'm a little disappointed with these pigments so far. I mean, at least the pink one. It's still really pretty and it does give me a nice little subtle pinky tone to my eyelids. I think I'm definitely going to keep using the pink one just because it's very subtle. It's not crazy. It's just, you know, it's pretty, but it's not like, bam, you got pink eyes, which I thought was going to happen. Kind of happy that didn't happen. I don't know. I'm very in the middle. I'm not happy that it's not as pigmented as I would like, but at the same time, I'm happy that it's not because and maybe I wouldn't be able to wear it all the time. So I feel like these pigments are a little bit wearable that you could wear them with other looks. You could possibly wear it for everyday look or for when you want to go out or whatever like that. Even though these are not as pigmented as I hoped for, it's kind of good that they're not so you can wear them every day. But at the same time with the, you know, a unicorn collection, you kind of want the pigments to be very pigmented and very like, oh, uh, like 
yeah in your face at least that's what I kind of expected I mean I really love the holiday pigments from the holiday collection but I noticed that I had to kind of layer them up to get to the intensity that I wanted so they weren't completely pigmented just like these but again kind of don't mind I'm in the middle it's very odd so I'm just going to finish the rest of my eye makeup and then we will get to the highlight and the lips okay so now for highlighter like I said I am going to be using the everlasting glow highlighter out of the collection just because I I kind of want it to go with my look. I was thinking, of course, with the pink eyes, I want kind of like a pinky tone highlight, and I'm still unsure about lipstick, but we're going to use the new highlight palette, and I was just I'm so excited, so I'm just going to dab into it a little bit. Maybe, oh, you can't really swirl. This is powdery as fuck. I stand by that. These are powdery. Why? <laughs> this is how I've been. Ooh, that's pretty. I mean, my mirror's a little bit dirty right now, but I can still still see. I can still see how like oh that's pretty you guys see that see that glow right there so I'm definitely sticking more to like the middle part where it's lighter but I'm also picking up a little bit of the pink tone oh yeah that's gorgeous that's really pretty that is really really pretty I really like that so I do have to say on my face I'm already a little bit glowy these are definitely more of those like chunky highlighters that do, that do have a little bit of that chunky shimmer to it at least what it looks like on me but it could just be my pores because you know hi but to me honestly what it looks like like is very fine little bit chunky of shimmers in there I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys but I can see it on my face how it's like it's not as blended as other like my hard candy and my MAC highlight that I've been using so this is a little bit chunkier of shimmers that I'm noticing but it's still absolutely gorgeous I love it oh my god like you're you're gorgeous you are go you know you're pretty right like you know you're pretty I think I might just try and put a little bit of bronze over the rainbow on it I'm not gonna put the uh, rainbow highlight on though just because my makeup look for today let's do a jumbo it's <laughs> that 19 that 19.com click i watch youtube videos to fall asleep at night on my phone so i went from watching simply nail logical to threadbanger and now i'm watching that 19 <laughs> I don't know. It definitely made a little bit more goldy toned than I wanted. I'm usually just not really a big fan of bronzy highlights. They come off on me a little bit dark than I like. Woo! Look at that. Look at that. I really like that. I'm gonna take my beauty blender because this is what I do to uh, bring it down a little bit because I don't want to be like, like I want to give you some face today, but I don't want like you guys to be able to see like where my shimmer starts and where it ends. Now finally for lipstick, I don't know which one I'm gonna put on. Honestly, I love both the unicorn soul really dried to a pink tone so I don't know if I should go with pink or I don't know if I should go with the holographic I think I'm gonna try hollow first and if that doesn't look the best then we may just go with uh, unicorn soul oh it feels a little gritty on your lips oh my god that's pretty I don't know if these are supposed to be matte lipsticks but they are a little bit creamy it definitely feels gritty on your lips and they're very patchy definitely makes your teeth look yellow too not a fan of that this is immortal tears on my lips which is very pretty. But I don't think I'm going to go with this one today just because it's very bluey toned and it kind of makes me look like I'm cold. But I think I would save this maybe for like a lip topper or if I'm feeling really bold and I want hollow lips or prismatic lips. I'm sorry, Christine. I'm sorry. It's not hollow. This is prismatic. But it's really, really pretty. I do like it, but not with this look. <laughs> I also do have to say it leaves a lot of like shimmers behind. Like I could see some prismatic glitters on my lips from the Moral Tears lipstick. I keep getting these names mixed up. Oh yeah, this is definitely a dupe for unicorn tears without a doubt but I really like the tone that this one's giving and I know that dries to be like kind of pinky so really looking forward to that so this is the unicorn soul really like it is definitely a dupe and this also did feel very gritty but I feel like it doesn't look as patchy well maybe it does a little bit I can kind of see a little bit but still really pretty I do like this lipstick and I can already see it like drying to kind of like a pinky tone which I'm really happy about so I think my final thoughts on this collection is that I think it's a really cute collection if you can get your hands on it I'm not sure if I like the pigments a hundred percent I do like the highlight though the highlight is gorgeous but if you guys want me to do another not really first impressions but another review another test of the rainbow highlighter then please let me know down below after doing the video I kind of feel like it didn't give it that full of a chance but then again I kind of had my expectations set up really high because everyone was like oh my god rainbow highlight and I was like oh my god I got to get the rainbow and I didn't really get much rainbow so I feel like this one this time is a little bit more you can see all the colors better 
I don't know if that makes any sense. Like, I, I there's a lot more. You disperse them a little bit better, and it looks a little bit more shimmery. So, again, let me know if you want to see that. I think it'd be interesting to do and maybe do a comparison of the one that I gave my sister and this one now. But I have to say, I do love this collection. The brush is really nice, too. I like how it just is so nice. And I love the handle. I love how soft it is. And I like how it just, and I love how I could just glide on my highlight, and it just looked really pretty. And the lipsticks, I do love the colors, obviously. They look really, really pretty. I am not a fan of the fact that they are very gritty feeling when you're applying them to your lips. They are a little bit patchy, but other than that, they give you a really nice effect. Like you guys can see my lips are turning like a nice little pink now. So honestly, if you're going to get anything individually in the store, I have to say 100% the brush and the highlights definitely go after those. If you really want the pigments and the lipsticks and get those too. I think that Unicorn Soul, I think it's what it's called. I feel like Unicorn Soul is a great dupe for Unicorn Tears by Too Faced. So if you don't want to get that lipstick, and then again, the downfall to, this, to these lipsticks is that they feel very gritty. I'm not sure if they're supposed to be matte lipsticks or if they're supposed to be regular lipsticks. They kind of look like the matte lipstick packaging though. So that's what I'm assuming. Both give you a really nice pretty shimmer to your lips but they are a little bit patchy. I will definitely let you guys know in the description how everything went on my face. If anything creased. If the highlight came out chunky. After a while if the lipstick came off. Like I'll let you guys know. As a whole I think it's a great idea. I'm just a little bit disappointed with the pigments and the lipsticks just because of how they feel. Other than that it's it's really cute it's it's a cute little collection and I'm very happy that I got it and of course the box the box got me so mm, mm -hmm. and what wild holds a very special place in my heart and look at this hollow you guys ah! it's hollow I just love the hollow what the hell is this guy doing here that better not be my ex girl bye girl bye shake my head <laughs> but yeah so that was my first impressions and try on of some of the wet n wild unicorn glow collection i hope you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you in some way it's still available i will leave links down below to wet n wild and to ulta i think it's still available for ulta i'm not sure about wet n wild but again i just recommend you buy on ulta if you want the collection because i just had a weird experience and i just i don't know i don't know if any of you guys had a weird experience with wet n wild site so i'm sorry you know no offense to wet n wild i love you i just that really skeeved me a little bit and I just I don't like that because if I wanted to return something I can't because I don't have an invoice paid as guest check out you know what I mean so it was just a little weird with that all being said I love you guys so much hope you have an awesome day subscribe if you'd like to see more of me and like this video if you enjoyed and you want to see more in the future see any tutorials or get ready with me's or something like that incorporating any of these items then let me know down below so I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video really like this lip color. I'm a unicorn. Yeah, yeah. Well, hello there, everyone. It's me, Christine, again. I love Christine. Oh, I love Simply Me Logical. Christine, if you didn't get this, you need to go get it because it's hollow. If you're a hollow sexual, like this video because I love hollow. I've loved hollow since I was a kid. No one can understand. It's just so beautiful. Look at Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, we're not going to do that on camera. All right, I love you guys.